Hi, everyone. Hi, welcome to the Get the Gloss Beauty Awards 2022. Can everybody hear me OK? Thank you so much for joining. Um, well, here we are. Um, the Get the Gloss Online Beauty Awards Ceremony 2022, where we'll be finding out which products and brands are industry expert judges deemed the best in 2022. Um, I know a lot of you here, um, but if you don't know me, I am Victoria Woodhall. I'm editorial director of Get the Gloss, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining today and also for supporting Get the Gloss as you do, and not just by entering our awards, but through all the work you do all year round, bringing the latest news and innovations and expertise to life in ever more creative ways. Hang on, I'm gonna just stop my screen share now. Here we go and say hi properly. Hello. Um, uh, so this is the first time we have done Soul uh, Just Beauty Awards. Um, you might have noticed that uh, in the last couple of awards, we've had wellness categories too. Uh, don't fret, these are coming. We have got a special Get the Gloss Wellness Awards in March, 2023. So keep an eye out for those. So back to this morning. Uh, we are going to be spending the next 45 minutes or so whipping through our 40 plus categories. I'll announce bronze and silver. And then uh, to announce the gold, I'm going to hand over to our judges who have each made a short video um, as a reveal. So think of it as an online podium. If you could keep yourself on mute, that would be fabulous. Thank you. So if you'd like to see the list of finalists, we'll put them in the chat here. Oh, three out of five. Hi guys, can you put yourself on mute? Thank you. Um, so if you'd like to see the list of finalists, um, I think uh, my colleague. Well, to see them on the presentation as we go. And of course, please use the chat function to say hi to each other and to high five the winners. Um, we are recording this session, and so everyone who signed up to receive our awards news emails will get the recording tomorrow. If you're not sure whether you're signed up to that, we'll put the link to sign up to that in the chat now, and you can just pop your email address in and you'll get the recording afterwards. Okay, so uh, I am going to tell you who the judges are this year, if I can manage the screen sharing. Here we go. Okay, so who are our judges? Ta -da! Here we go. <laughs> so these are the judges in whose hands we placed your entries. And I've seen a few of you on the chat today. I've definitely seen Rose Gallagher and I've definitely seen Ruby Hammer. Hello. Um, so I get the gloss. We're, as you know, we're all about experts. Giving our readers trusted advice is at the heart of what we do. And this year, 27 of our experts took part in the judging. Um, and some of them are here now, as I said. And I'd like to thank them all for the time they put in, not just to test, but to research all these products, to read up the online reviews, to scour the inky lists, to mark them. They really did go above and beyond. Um, Dr. Aya Siddiqui told me that um, she was testing the SPS category and she looked at them all under her scanner in the clinic to see the level of UV coverage they had. So she really did test it um, in, in a clinical environment. Uh, Dominic Skinner told me that he was testing cleansers and he tested them on, um, I think it was um, foundation, budge proof um, eyeliner and also matte lipsticks. And I'd like to have been a fly on the wall for that one. <laughs> Fiona Brackenbury, I don't know if you're here, Fiona, but she very gamely split face tested fake tans and was walking around with patches of brown all over herself in the name of testing. So thank you to all our judges. Um, you might be interested to know how we judged. We had three main criteria, performance, price, and star quality. And in the latter, we looked at factors such as packaging, messaging, and the experience of using the product. And in so many cases, it was incredibly close. So the judges all got their products. Oh, these are the rest of our judges. And we judged, I had an individual judging session with each one over Zoom, where we really went through all the products and um, picked our winners and this is my absolute favorite part of the awards is really hearing what the experts look for in products that really work and then we can really recommend to our readers so most of you are um, finalists here and potential winners um, so please do share your success using one of our badges we'll be sending them out via in the, that same email tomorrow 
uh, but please feel free to share them straight away and we're posting the link to download those badges in the chat and they are free to use. So what do we do with everything you send us once we finish testing? Um, I'd like to hand over now to Matilda Velovich, who some of you might remember from last year and the year before, um, who is a QVC guest presenter and also she's an actress and playwright and volunteers for a very worthy cause. Hello there, my name is Matilda Velovich. I'm a playwright and also a guest presenter on QVC. And today I'm here to, after their fantastic beauty awards. Um, it is a real delight to see all of these products that have been entered in the Get the Boss Beauty Awards many of which I'm familiar with, um, but even more importantly, none of them are going to waste. So thank you for sending them in. I work part-time with Care for Calais, looking after refugee families in the UK, and they are supplied with the, with the basics that they require. They live in hostels and they have the clothing they need and very, very basic toiletries. So at a time of year when we are all looking to look after ourselves, give ourselves a bit of a treat because the weather's getting cold, things are getting tricky, they don't really have that, and I cannot tell you how much it means to be able to give them nice shampoos, nice conditioners, skin cream, as opposed to the absolute basics. But we all know it goes beyond that. It's not just about the label of the ingredients. It's actually about how it makes you feel to use something special, to make yourself feel special. And more than that, that someone else has thought of you, and in that case, it's you and it's Get the Gloss. Somebody's thought about you, made you less invisible, and that I'm able to give those those as gifts to people who you know just makes everything a little bit easier when times are tough and you really don't know what's going to happen next in your life. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you. Thank you, Matilda. So let's get started. Our first category, best overnight product. Well done to the Seated Queen Cold Cream winning bronze and Face Gym Cheat Mask in silver. And uh, you can see David Jack and QMS um, as finalists there. And to announce the winner, it's Mary Greenwell. Take it away, Mary. Hi, my name is Mary Greenwell, and I've been honoured to be asked to judge the best overnight product for the Get the Glass 2022 awards. And the one I've been most impressed by is something called Oskia. They're capsules that really make your skin and look, they really work. And so the great thing about this is you can take them away, you can take two in your bag if you're traveling for two nights or whatever, use these overnight little capsules you burst open. And um, yeah, I love them. They're clinically proven, of course, and they are, hold on, beautiful skin to be proud of. That's what I feel about them too. Essential skin nutrients. So they're full of these nutrients that make your skin feel great. And yeah, they're a great product. So this is one, in my, in my opinion, there you go. Thank you, Mary. On to our next category, best cleansing oil, balm or milk. And bronze is Tatcha, the Camellia cleansing oil, silver, the organic pharmacy carrot butter cleanser and well done skin design and Dr. Hauschka there as well. And to announce the winner, it's Nicola Bond. Hi, I'm Nicola Bond, the winner in the oil and balm cleanser category is Lumen. Brilliant product, took my makeup off perfectly, made my skin feeling soft, the price is right, and I love what you're doing for sustainability. A huge congratulations to you. Thanks, Nicola. Well done, Lumen. And the next category, best toner, essence, or mist. Uh, in bronze, Charlotte Tilbury, Glow Toner, and Tatcha, the essence scooped silver. Well done to Sable Labs and Shantakai as well there. And... Dr. Kimmy, she's already and um, The winner in the toner essence category is the Pat McGrath 001 Rosy Essence. It had such a luxurious feel and star quality to it. Thank you, Dr. Kemi. I know she enjoyed using that. Next category, best pigmentation product. And in bronze, we have Paula's Choice Skincare 10% Azelaic Acid. Uh, silver goes to Hello Sunday. And well done to Strybectin and Dr. Sabrina Perfect Eyes um, for your finalists uh, position there. And it's Alicia Lati presenting the winner. Hi, my name is Alicia Lati and I'm an esthetician and product developer. I've been judging the category of best pigmentation products and my winner is from Sachi Skin. So this is the Trihala Pigmentation Corrector. So I really like this because it also contains peptides to support the skin barrier and it fights pigmentation using three key ingredients. Thank you, Alicia. Well done, Sachi Skin. 
best exfoliator for face next. And in third place, Venn Collagen Intensive Phytoretinol Resurfacing Mask. Uh, silver goes to Decree, the weekly Decree, and well done to Wishful and Espar as well. And it's Pippa Harmon to announce the winner. Hi, I'm Pippa, cosmetic chemist and co-founder of Renewed. And the winner of the best facial exfoliator category goes to Polistrol's 2% BHA. This product consistently delivers results. It's a fantastic price point and is just all round. Well done. Thank you, Pippa. Our next category is best oily skin or blemish product. And in bronze, Dr. Sam's Flawless Neutralizing Gel. Uh, silver goes to Medicaid. Well done to ELF and Codex Labs 2. And the winner, Alicia, please. I've been judging the category for best oily skin products and blemish prone products. And my winner is for Murad. It's the Murad Deep Relief Blemish Treatment. It's really good. It contains salicylic acid and urea. So that basically helps you unclog your pores and also look after your skin barrier. So that's my winner. Thank you, Alicia. I think those nails deserve a medal of their own. And next product is best product for aging well. In bronze, Hadalabo Tokyo Anti-Aging Super Hydrator Lotion. Silver goes to Blur London Cloud Skin Moisturizer. Well done to um, Dr. Levy and Cell Cosmet as well. And Dr. Joe Ward has the winner. I'm Dr. Joanna Ward, and I am delighted this year to announce the winner in the Get the Gloss Anti-Aging category for the awards. There was a lot of top competition in this category, but the winner is Mega Beauty Armor Lift. Um, this is a gorgeous, lightweight serum. It's got lots of lovely clinically evidenced ingredients, lactic acid, resveratrol, antioxidant, acid stem cells, and peptides. So many congratulations, a very deserved winner. Sorry, I just see we've got the wrong picture there. It definitely is the Armour Lift that won, but we love all of Medimesh products. So we can, uh, can say hello to the Lipo Oval as well. Next category, best vitamin C product. And in bronze, Tula Skincare Brightening Treatment Drops, Triple Vitamin C Serum in silver goes to Pi. Skincare, C to Believe, Vitamin C Brightening Moisturizer, and Wildsmith and Olay there scooping the runners up. And to announce the winner, Dr. Iwoma. Hi, my name is Dr. Iwoma. I'm a medical and cosmetic doctor. And the winner of the best vitamin C is Medicate C Tetra Lux. This is one of the best vitamin Cs on the market. It has a luxurious texture and actually works. Thank you, Dr. Iwoma. The next category is best product for dry and dehydrated skin. In bronze, MV Skin Therapy, MV Daily Soother Booster. I love that one. And um, Silver had a Labo Tokyo Premium Lotion Intense Super Deep Hydrator. Well done to Meda and Inky. And to announce the winner, Dr. Aya. Thank you, my name is Dr. Aya, and I'm so excited to announce the winner of the Get the Gloss Beauty Awards in the category of dry and dehydrated skin is skin ingredients skin red this is such a wonderful serum and the reason i really enjoyed it is because not only does it hydrate your skin but it contains an ingredient called glucinolactone which helps to exfoliate your skin back in your skin and increase the real hydration of your skin it is a wonderful product it's lightweight and not only that it's sustainable so you can remove refill and you're protecting your skin as well as protecting the earth so excellent product thank you guys Thank you, Dr. Aya. Next category, the best product for barrier repair, sensitive skin and reactive skin. And in bronze, Skin Ingredients, Good Fats Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. In silver, it's Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. Well done to Sienta, Sientia and Udi as well. And Rose Gallagher is here to announce the winner. Hi, I'm Rose Gallagher, and the winner of Best Product for Barrier Repair or Sensitive and Reactive Skin is the Biosense Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. This was a really deeply nourishing moisturiser. I felt that it instantly helped to alleviate any tightness, sat beautifully under makeup or at night time. It was the real standout winner for me. Well done, Biosense, and thank you, Rose. Uh, new category for us this year was best niacinamide product. There have been so many uh, new launches in this space. So let's find out who the finalists are. So Paula's Choice, 
uh, clinical niacinamide, 20% treatment in bronze, pharmacy, 10% niacinamide night mask, one silver, well done to Inky and Vive there. And to announce the winner, it's Pippa Harmon again. And the winner of the best niacinamide product goes to Solace to Beauty Brightening Super Serum. A brilliant multifunctional formula containing not just niacinamide, but humectants, soothing agents, antioxidants, and squalane in a milky serum at an amazing price point. Well done. Well done, Solista. Best retinoid is our next category. And in bronze, it's indeed retinol reface. In silver pharmacy with 1% vitamin A retinol serum, well done to Murad and Sachi Skin as well there. And Dr. Sophie Schotter, how's the winner? Hi, my name is Dr. Sophie Schotter and I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Gepa Gloss Award for the best retinoid or retinoid alternative is Medicaid's Crystal Retinol. I love Medicaid because they're really committed to research and development using scientifically backed ingredients and they've made retinoids so easy to use and to understand through their ladder system. So huge congratulations. Thank you. Popular winner there. Best face oil is next. And let's see who the finalists are. Elemental Herbology uh, for the Purity Facial Oil in bronze. Uh, Rug Estate Wild Beauty uh, Protecting Facial Oil with Bacucciol uh, gets silver. And to announce the winner... It's Mira Makeup. Hi, I'm Mira Makeup. And the winner in the best facial oils category is the wonderful Buran. This is the reset oil. It's amazing. It's packed full of powerful ingredients. Um, it's everybody's skin type, sensitive skins too. And the price point is brilliant. Well done, guys. Thanks, Mira. Best lip care or lip treatment. So in bronze, we had Catherine Daniels multitasking eye and lip balm. And in silver, we have Seldama perfect lips. And let's find out who the winner is. Rose. And the winner of best lip treatment is the Burt's Bees overnight treatment. Where would I begin with this? It smells delicious. It's really deeply moisturizing. Even though it's an overnight treatment mask, I used it all day long, a really lovely one and very affordable. Thanks, Rose. Well done, Burt's Bees. Next category, best SPF product. And in bronze, we have Ultraviolet Supreme Screen SPF 50 Hydrating Skin Screen. Did they deliberately tongue twist that title? Um, well done. And in silver, Dr. David Jack, all day long. Well done to Salty and Supergoop as well. And Dr. Aya. The winner tester. of the SPF category in the Get the Best Beauty Awards goes to Catherine Daniels. A beautiful SPF that protects against UVA, UVB, blue light, has active DNA repair enzymes without no irritation, no fragrance, and no white cast. Literally, what more could you ask for? Well done. Thank you, Dr. Aya. Next category is the best natural or organic skin transformer. This is another new category this year. And in bronze, Voya Organic Beauty Hyaluronate Anti-Pollution Serum, well done. Silver, Tropic Rainforest Dew Hydration Serum, well done to Rosifer and Mantle too. And Jasmine Hemsley, judge this category and has the winner. Hi, I'm Jasmine Hemsley and winner of the best natural and organic skin transformer is the Organic Pharmacy Antioxidant Duo. So I've got the face gel here and the face serum. And together, this combo for me lives up to the hype of facelifts in the bottle. So the next morning, my skin felt amazing and sensitive areas and blemishes were near remedied. So congratulations. Well done, Organic Pharmacy. On to our next category, best neck and deck product. In bronze, um, FTT Skin Clinics, FTT Skin Lift. Silver goes to Comfort Zone. Well done also to Pry. And Sophie Schotter has our I'm winner. delighted to say that the winner of the best neck and deck etage product in the Get the Gloss Awards is the Strivectin Titan and Lift product. This is one of the best selling neck creams and it's really too easy to see why. It uses proprietary scientifically developed ingredients and it's got this really lovely balmy texture. It's easy to use and it's made it onto my own bathroom shelf. Well done. It's a great accolade there when it makes it onto the, the doctor's bathroom shelf. Thank you, Sophie. 
best everyday moisturizer. Let's see who the finalists are. Uh, in bronze, well done to Pharmacy Beauty Honey Halo Ultra, Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. Silver goes to Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream, and well done to uh, Key Soul Care, Cetaphil, and um, Blair London as well for your wins. And let's find out who the winner is with Dr. Galina. Hello, I'm Dr. Galina, and thank you so much at the Gloss Awards for making me part of your judging panel. I am incredibly excited, and congratulations to all the winners. My category this year is Everyday Moisturizer, and by far my favorite product, which is Sable Labs. So congratulations. Now, first of all, love the research and development, love the ingredients, but it is a very diverse product. You can use it um, in every skin tone, men, women, it is gender free. So I, I love it. The smell, the texture, the results. I fully enjoy it. So my product is Sable Labs. Congratulations. Well done, Sable Labs. Our next category is best eye cream or serum. And in bronze, we have MZ Skin Soothe and Smooth. In silver, Dr. Slam's Flawless Nightly Serum. Well done to Inky and Environ as well. And to announce the winner, it's Dr. Iwoma. And the winner of the best eye cream is the Biosart Squalene and Marine Algae Cream. This eye cream is perfect for even the most sensitive of under eyes. And I love that Biosart to put sustainability at the forefront of their brand. Another win for Biosense. Well done. Best styling tool. Let's have a look at the finalists. Uh, so in bronze, we have Razzle Dazzle Hair O Crescendo 4-in-1 Hair Curling Wand. Um, and in silver, Bellissima Diffon Supreme. Well done to Drybar and Kitsch as well. And to announce the winner, it's Mira. And the winner is... MD London, guys, this is such a great dryer. It's lightweight, it's compact, great for travel. It's got diffuser head as well as two nozzles. Um, and it just packs a powerful punch because such a tiny dryer. So well done, guys. Yeah, and Mira told me as a working hair and makeup artist, that also made it into her kit because it's so small and lightweight. So well done, MD London. Best scalp product. And in bronze, Espar, pink hair and scalp mud. In silver, Roots Professional Blast Shampoo, Scalp and Hair Prep. Well done to Vegamore, Fable and Main and Shampoo there as well. And it's Hannah Gabawadi, trichologist, to announce the winner. Hi, I'm Hannah Gabawadi, trichologist at the Hair Clinic. And the winner product for the Gloss Beauty Awards is the Kristen S Purifying Shampoo. I love this product because it removes buildup and dirt and pollution from the scalp. And a healthy scalp means healthy hair. Thank you, Hannah. Our next category is best hair wash experience. And in bronze, DP Hue, ACB hair rinse, love that. Um, in silver, Athletia scalp care shampoo and well done to Ozzy and Rosano Ferretti as well. It's George Northward. Hi, George Northward here. So the winner of the hair wash category is Philip Kingsley vitamin C jelly detoxifying hair and scalp treatment. Here it is. This is a really, really good deep cleanser for the hair. It removes all the impurities, it's fully recyclable, and it's really well formulated. So congrats, Philip Kingsley. And George told me while we were judging as well that the majority of people that come into his salon now do have buildup in the hair from product and pollution, and which is why he picked this product as his winner. The next category is best hair mask or repair treatment. And in bronze, Fable and Main Holy Roots Hair Mask. Uh, in silver, Philip Kingsley's Lasticizer. Well done to Michael Van Clark and Windle Labs 2. And the winner. Hello, I'm Neil Moody. And the winner in the best hair mask or repeat treatment category is Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. I love this product because it's brilliantly innovative and the results are amazing. Well done. Can't say better than that. Thank you, Neil. Our next category, best hair product for curly or textured hair. And in third place with bronze, Silk London Silk Hair Wrap. And in silver, Only Curls Volumizing Curl Mousse. Well done to Umberto Giannini and Trepadora as well. And it's Kesha East who tested these products and chose the winner. Hi, I'm Kesha East. And the best hair product for curly or textured hair in this category, I would have to say the winner is Windle Labs, Curl Enhancer. It made my curls look more defined, voluminous, 
I mean, look at my curls, guys. All down to this product. So well done, Window Labs. Thank you, Kesha. Our next category is best styling product. And in bronze, chlorine flax dry shampoo. In silver, archive the mastery hairspray. Well done to L'Oreal and Jerome Russell as well. And Mira is announcing the winner for us. And the winner in the hair styling product category is JVN Complete. This is incredible on the hair. It protects the hair from damage um, and it's basically skin care for your hair. So well done, guys. Love it. I love that one too. I've emptied it at least twice. Right. Our next category, best bath and shower. And in bronze, Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Oil. In silver, Sanctuary Spa Signature Natural Oils Salt Scrub. Well done to Hello Clean and West Lab as well. And it's Adiola who tested this. Hi, my name is Adiola Bega, and I'm pleased to announce the winner of the best shower and bath category is this beautiful, rich cleansing body wash from Gloved. Oh my gosh, the scent of this was absolutely stunning. It was such a joy to use. And I love the formula has some really great skin loving ingredients to leave my skin feeling really soft, nourished and supple. Congratulations to Gloved. Thank you, Adiola. Our next category, best moisturizer, serum or treatment or oil for the body. And in bronze, Alvarum Firming Moisturizer. Silver goes to Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Well done to Burt's Bees and BioEffect as well. And to announce the winner, it's Ruby Hammer. Hi, I'm Ruby Hammer. And the winner in the best moisturizer, oil, serum body category is Emma Hardy. And I love this. Congratulations. It's almost like putting face cream all over your body. Absolutely. Thank you, Ruby. Best hair remover tool or cream. Let's see who the finalists are. So in bronze, Woo Woo Tame It Vegan In Shower Hair Removal. And in silver, Sensica Sensilite Pro. Well done to Bondi Body uh, for your laser and Tweez the Man for the facial razor there. And let's find out who won from Nicola Bond. And we're in the hair removal category and great. I absolutely love this brand and everything it stands for. Well done. This is thoroughly deserved. Thanks, Nicola. Our next category is best uh, product for hands, feet and nails. And in bronze, Aviella Shea Hand Butter. In silver, Leighton Denny Re Nail Rebirth Capsules. And well done to Gloved and True You as well. And to announce the winner, Madeline Spencer. Hello, I'm Madeline Spencer, and the winner in the hands, feet, and nails category is Margaret Dabbs Repairing Hand Cream. This is a brilliant hand cream. It's really hydrates, not at all greasy, and a really, really good size. Madeline told me she has this next to her computer because you can put it on and you and it's completely grease-free as soon as she, she starts typing again. Next category: best brow product. And in bronze, it's True You Beauty Brow and Lash Set. In silver, BBB London Ultra Slim Brow Definer. Well done to uh, Nyx and Elf as well. And the winner, Natalie Eleni, has the news. Hi, I'm Natalie Eleni, and the winner of the brows category is Brows by Sarah. Now, I love this product. It's a really gorgeous sculpting gel, long lasting color, really helps to enhance your brows. And I feel like it's been made with a lot of passion, love, and knowledge. And that's why I think it's a great product. I couldn't agree more. I wear Wow Brow every day. So well done, uh, Brows by Sarah. Next category is best for cheeks. And in bronze, Pixie Beauty On The Go Bronze. In silver, Trish McAvoy Liquid Face Colour. Well done to Laura Mercier and Elf again. And to announce the winner, it's Madeline Spencer. And the winner in the best cheeks product category is... Pat McGrath blush without caution. It's such a good blush. It just gives loads of colour payoff really quickly. It's not too shiny. It's not too chalky. It's just right. Love that. Also wearing that today. Our next category is best base. And in bronze, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. In silver, Collection Cosmetics Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish. Well done, sculpted by Amy and Glossier as well. And it's Bryony Blake to announce the winner. Hi, I'm Bryony Blake and I'm here to announce the winner of Best Base. 
And the winner is Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I adore this product. You can wear it light. You can wear it for coverage. It's got an SPF 50 and it is just a really fantastic all-rounder base for any age and any skin tone. I love it. Congratulations, guys. That product has so many fans in this office too. Um, best lash product is our next category. In bronze, uh, UK Lash Eyelash Serum. In silver, sculpted by Amy, my mascara, volume and length. Well done to Lily Lashes and Shantakai. Uh, Adiola is going to tell us who's won. And I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the best lash category is the medium Sky Lasting Surgical Mascara. I love that this formula was great at giving me lashes when I have no lashes whatsoever. It's really affordable and it's a great mascara. I love to use in my kids. Well done. So well deserved, Maybelline. Congratulations. Thanks, Adiola. Best sunless tan for face and body. And in bronze, Utan times Jamie CBD tanning water 50% darker. Uh, silver goes to Sienna X self tan clear tan mousse. Well done to Saint Tropez and Sientia as well. And Fiona Brackenbury has the winner. Hi, my name is Fiona Brackenbury, and I'm delighted to announce the winner is Tan Lux the Creme. This is a gorgeous, effortless tan. The tan is beautiful, it's natural, it goes on effortlessly. And the best bit is there's lots of in loving ingredients in here to support your tan so your tan lasts longer absolutely thank you fiona our next category is best color product for lips in bronze galan rouge g luxurious velvet metal in silver pat mcgrath satin allure lipstick well done to pixie and laura mercier too and the winner natalie eleni has the winner and the winner in the lip category is sculpted by Amy Connolly and this is the Hydra Lip. It's the most beautiful lipstick, gives a gorgeous nourishing hydration to your lips and also has such a flattering tint of colour. I just think it's so wearable and I really love it. So well done sculpted. Thanks Natalie. On to best skin tool for face or body and in bronze Dr Levy the Contour Pro. In silver Current Body LED Eye Perfector, well done to the Light Salon and Omnilux as well. Dr. Kemi, who's the winner? Oh, there it is. There's the winner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Kemi, and the winner in the skincare devices category was the Asper Cryotherapy Globes. This felt like such an amazing, cooling experience for the skin, and it's great for those that have inflammatory areas that need soothing. Thank you. Well done, Esper. Classic Hero. In bronze, Ren Clean Skincare, Ready Steady Glow, Daily AHA Tonic. In silver, Living Proof Hair, Perfect Hair Day, Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. Well done to Kate Somerville and to Bioderma too. Bryony, who's won? And I'm here to announce the winner for Classic Hero. And of course, I would be lost without this. It has to be Willida Skin Food. This is without a doubt my classic hero every time. It's my go-to when I have dry, sensitive skin. It helps heal my nails. It helps heal my lips. It also brings back makeup back to life. I absolutely love it. And I know a lot of you love it too. Congratulations. Brilliant. Thank you, Bryony. Best sustainable brand is our next category. And in bronze, Irene Forte Skincare. And in silver, it's Evolve Organic Beauty. Well done to Tropic and Ren, too. And to announce the winner, it's Jasmine Hemsley. Winner of the best sustainable brand is Rug Wild Beauty. So this, for me, is the epitome of sustainable luxury. Cosmos certified ingredients. Looks, smells, feels amazing. Packaging is well sourced. And all of the ingredients are sourced locally in one farm with organic practices. Well done. Brilliant. Well done, Rug Estate. Best Innovator. Bronze goes to Verso Super Elixir. And silver goes to Solista Cryo Cool Skin Tool. And well done to Omnilux Cell Derma and Base as well. And here to announce the winner, here to show us the winner, in fact, is Olivia Falcon. Hi, everyone. I'm Olivia Falcon, and I have been judging the innovation category. And I'm very excited to announce that the winner is the Luster. Clear Skin LED Face Mask. 
I picked this um, product for a number of different reasons. First of all, the comfort. It is made of this really flexible silicon. It's incredibly comfortable. Second of all, it's cordless. I haven't seen an LED mask that is totally cordless before. It is so much easier to use. And thirdly, the technology is staggering. They have paired it with a really, really easy to use app. I am not very good at um, using uh, technology sometimes, but even I have been able to use this. This allows you to set your timings. It has three different light waves and you can as you can see here you can select different zones in your face and run different programs at the same time so it's super cool and super deserving of the winner wow thank you olivia best waterless or e best waterless eco product is our next category and in bronze try hand and body exfoliating wash in silver, Kitsch Rice Water Protein Strengthening Bar, and well done to Chlorine and Foamy as well. And to announce the winner, it's Ruby. And the winner in the best waterless eco product category is this by Tropic. And it's called Clean Skies, and it really does deliver what it promises. It's a fantastic powder cleanser there. Thank you, Ruby. Best menopause skincare for face or body. And in bronze, number seven, Menopause Skincare Instant Radiance Serum. In silver, Vichy Laboratoire Neovadiol Meno 5 Serum for Menopausal Skin and MV Skin Therapy and Romilly Wild um, are finalists there. Fiona Brackenbury tested these for us and she's announcing the winner. And I'm delighted to announce the winner is Zenny Rebalance Day and Night Cream. This is a phenomenal cream that not only gives bursts of hydration and radiance on the first application, but it's also including all the ingredients that the skin needs while we're going through the menopause. Well done, Zenny London. Best gel, foam or water-based cleanser? I think this is Dominic announcing this one. But let's find out who he picked for the bronze and silver. So it's Manuka Farm Calming CBD Gel Cleanser, Scoops Bronze. Silver is Not Nui Love Enzymatic Face Cleanser. Well done to Keys and my Olivana as well. And Dominic, who's your winner? Everyone, I'm so excited to announce that the winner is... Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Bioma. It was so impressive. I really put this product through its paces and each and every time it really impressed and delivered the job. But not just that, it left the skin feeling great and it had a lovely soft fragrance. Plus the packaging I think is really beautiful. And it also explains so much stuff to the consumer to make them feel like they're being educated without being spoken down to, which I think is really important. Plus the price point. You get all of that for a really great price. You can't go wrong. So well done, Bioma. This is a real winner. Thank you, Dominic. Best newcomer brands or range. JVN Hair scooped bronze. And in silver, Sable Labs. Well done to Tatcha and Bioma too. And Ate, I think this is our final category. Ate is going to announce our final winner. Hi, everyone. I'm Ate Jewel, and I'm so proud and excited to be one of the judges for the Get the Gloss Awards. I've had so much fun. Um, but the winner is for the best new brand or range. Wait for it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. 17! Woo! Uh, this brand gives me all the 90s nostalgic feels. I loved it growing up on the high street, and I'm so excited that they brought it back. So inclusive, so um, diverse in its colour range. I love the price point. I love the fact it is pigment rich and packs a punch. I love this pigment powder, which you can mix with your nipple polish, you put it on your eyes. Put a bit of body oil, put it on your body, body, body. Um, so many delicious products. Well done. Such a great brand to come back. So congratulations. Thank you, Ate. What a fantastic note to end on. Well done to all the winners and finalists. Um, please don't forget to download your badges and um, congratulate each other. You can stay on in the chat. You can, um, if you're a judge, please uh, unmute yourself and say hi if you like. And um, please also uh, watch out for our Get the Gloss Wellness Awards 2023. We'll be opening them in March um, and we'd love um, you to come along to those as well. So thank you everyone for joining. Thank you, congratulations to the winners. And thank you for the support for the Get the Gloss Beauty Awards 2022. Have a great day, everyone.